Look at Chris Paul creating off the dribble. The defender is not even there. Perfect release. Chris Paul with a sexy step back right here. Woo! Chris Paul with the crossover. Another crossover. Beautiful floater in the lane, baby. Ooh -hoo. Ooh. Damn. Coast to coast action with CP3. I'm splitting the defense. Oh my goodness. On this play, I'm going to get a wide open lane. He's going to think I'm going to drive it. This is why he gave me all that daylight. So I decided to pull up for three and CP3 was taking over. James Hardy comes right back with a three of his own. Here we go. Can we get a stop to win the game? James Harden with the fade. Pause if you guys want to see the starting lineups. All right, guys, I'm bringing you another online knee gameplay from our... <laughs> Whoa, I had a choke there. From our first season in this league so my opponent is the Dallas Mavericks and with his first two picks if you didn't know this was a fantasy draft of two rounds so with his first two picks he chose James Harden and Draymond Green but he eventually traded Draymond Green to the Boston Celtics he got Marcus Morris he got Terry Rozier and he got Marcus Smart and I think he had another player as well what's funny is that he was the one that traded me Harrison Barnes but I retraded Harrison Barnes back to him for Marcus Smart and Wesley Matthews. I think I gave him another piece. I don't remember the other piece I included. But I gave him back Harrison Barnes for Smart, Wesley Matthews. So this is why he has Smart, Marcus Morris, and who's the other Boston Celtic player? Terry Rozier. So that's his Dallas Mavericks squad. He also has DeAndre Jordan. Look at Chris Paul creating off the dribble. The defender is not even there. Perfect release. Damn boy, that was sick. So basically this Dallas Mavericks squad is very stacked. I think he has like five players rated between 79 to obviously James Harden who was like a 96 at this point of the game. So very stacked team. My team is very uh, not that much stacked but still try to do my best. You know play team basketball, run the nice plays. Beautiful patience right here. Face up move. Mark Gasol goes inside. He jumps first. Can't stop that. Take over with Gasol. So in the first quarter of this game, it was very close. And I don't expect to blow out people in the first quarter, obviously, unless 2K is on their thing, you know, their cheese. Because, you know, 2K sometimes, they make you miss shots, they do all these weird things, so you never know what can happen. Because in the first quarter, the, all the five players on the court have full stamina. You know, they can run fast, they can shoot well, so I don't expect, you know, a big lead after the first. Beautiful patience again by Gasol. That's one thing you need. If you go in the post, you need a lot of patience. You need to wait for the double team. If there is one, you need to see what's going on around you. And I don't like that. When the play doesn't work out, for example, that was a three-point play, but my guy ran two feet inside the three-point line and took a mid-range shot instead. Chris Paul with a sexy step back right here. Woo! Yo, man, CP3 is nice. If you know how to use him, Chris Paul can be very nice, but James Harden comes right back and scores in the paint. So we were tied after the first half, 30 to 30. Watch how I predicted that steal with Wesley Matthews. I predicted the play perfectly. I decided to position my player that way because I know Harrison Barnes is not that quick off the dribble. So if he decided to dribble into the paint, I could recover with Wesley Matthews because he has some lateral quickness. So that was a little bit of scouting report. So he misses off the dribble. Chris Paul with the crossover, another crossover. Beautiful floater in the lane, baby. Oh Damn, coast to coast action with CP3. I'm splitting the defense. Oh my goodness. Just that inch of daylight. Beautiful ball handling and speed. On this play, I'm going to get a wide open lane. He's going to think I'm going to drive it. This is why he gave me all that daylight. So I decided to pull up for three and CP3 was taking over. James Harden comes right back with a three of his own. So that's what it is. With Chris Paul, I don't even know what I'm going to do myself. So I don't know if I'm going to shoot. I don't know if I'm going to drive. Napier with the floater. Nice offensive rebound. The floater is very important because a lot of bigs on this game can jump very high and have nice block ratings. So I don't want to get blocked like a little noob. So I do the floater a lot. This is another example of beautiful patience with Gasol. I wait a few seconds. 
Beautiful spin hook right there. We get the one point lead. So to end the third quarter, James Harden is running a play right here. Another screen, double screen here. But look at his beautiful defense. Marcus Smart is hustling and he still makes it. Marcus Smart is injured, tired, fatigued, and he tried his best. It's all good. James Harden just makes those shots. Another screen by Gasol. Perfect play. Wide open three to end the quarter. That was beautiful. So that third quarter was a battle between James Harden and Chris Paul going back and forth. So in this fourth quarter, I'm running a nice play for CP3 isolation here. But his center bumps me. I'm trying to pass it. But the bump animation caused a slow pass. But it's all good. We get the bucket. Six point lead. Nice half spin by Wesley Matthews getting into the lane again. Avoiding DeAndre Jordan. So here he's running that money play again. Marcus Morris from mid. It's a three point basketball game. Four minutes left in the game. Look at that beautiful crossover. Wide open lane. So starting in the half court. I'm looking how the defense is playing Chris Paul. If they're not tight or whatever. That's when I decided to drive. Another double screen for Wes Matthews for three. That was a nice play. Six point lead. That money play is being ran once again. Marcus Morris is going to pull up from mid again. He's pulling up like Devin Booker, man. He's making all these middies. And now 2K is on their, on their crap right now. Dirk, illegal screen. So here goes our four point lead. It's going to disappear on this play. Look, he misses the mid. DeAndre Jordan gets the rebound over Gasol. Dirk gets in the lane. I don't know why he was doing that. He left Marcus wide open. So the illegal screen, then the wide open three. It's a one point basketball game. And my play is breaking down. It's not even working. Chris Paul doesn't even get a nice screen. I have to just force it and I get blocked. So these last two, three, two possessions weren't that nice for me. Illegal screen, offensive rebound we lost. My play wasn't working. It's a one point game. Napier's gonna get a bump animation, but nobody's there in the paint for defense. One point game, I'm gonna run a nice play here. I'm gonna have Wesley Matthews cut in the lane. I'm trying to bump Jordan so he doesn't block it. Wesley Matthews gave us the one point lead. He calls that timeout. Here we go. Can we get a stop to win the game? James Harden with the fade. Wow, you gotta be kidding me. This is one of the craziest game winners. It's red contested by Tony Allen. And all, oh, look at this screenshot. It's red contest 0.1. Can't get any closer than this. Oh my goodness. I thought he didn't get it off in time, but big heartbreaker. Wow. <laughs> James Harden nails the game winner. Disappointment in our faces. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> Yo, so if you enjoyed this gameplay, let me know, drop a like, drop a comment, I have tons more incoming, so uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow GFlash on Twitter.